At one point in history, the Persian Empire covered almost half of the known world. In 480 AD, Persia amassed a population of almost 50 million during a time when an estimated 112 million lived on Earth. This meant that they had control of 44% of the world population and that record has yet to be broke. There are still quite a few things we don't know about the Persian Empire, but we're going to go ahead and take a look anyways. From the first known refrigerator, to the first known use of chemical warfare, here are crazy things the ancient Persians did. How's it going guys? You ready for another awesome American Eye video? Let's check it out. Number 10. The Zoroastrian Tower of Silence before Iran became a Muslim-majority country, it was previously Zoroastrian, which is a monotheistic religion who believe in a god named Ahura Mazda. This god revealed that he created the world throughout the prophet Zoroaster. This was the main religion of the ancient Persians and still practiced among a small minority in India in present times, where it's more accepted. In any case, they had a pretty chilling way of having a funeral. You won't hear any noise here at the Tower of Silence, unless of course, it's a ghost. It's a Zoroastrian tradition in Persia and India to leave the deceased on top of a tower to allow birds and even dogs to eat their bodies. This civilization believed that corpses were filled with evil spirits once they died. Only exposure to birds and sunlight will purify them. Once this happened, the bodies were then thrown into the circle of the pit. This ancient practice for the most part isn't still practice, but some places it is. Number 9. The Golden Smoothie the Persians were known throughout the world for having some pretty cruel punishments, especially against invading armies. As Rome began to gain some ground in the Middle East during the 3rd century AD, they would eventually fall victim to not only a plague, but also a defeat to the Persian Empire. In 260 AD, the Emperor Valerian was captured by Shapur I during the Battle of Edessa. As the Roman Emperor decided to meet with Shapur for some kind of peace agreement, Valerian was captured and remained prisoner for the rest of his life. Shapur treated him as a slave and would often humiliate him by using him as a stool when he would dismount from his horse. Valerian attempted to pay a large ransom for his return home to Rome safely, but that didn't bode too well with Shapur. In order to show him that money didn't really matter, he heated up gold to the point where it turned to a liquid and then forcefully poured it down his throat. Sounds like a golden shower you don't want to take. After that, it's believed that he was taxidermied and put on display at Shapur's palace. Number 8. The First Refrigerator we often take for granted the amenity of having a refrigerator in our homes, but back in ancient times, trying to preserve food was extremely difficult. We have the ancient Persians to thank for the world's first fridge ever, and it was created in 400 BC. These were known as Yakchals, and they were so well built that they even exist in modern times. The above ground structures were shaped like a dome and would go underground to store ice along with food. It used a heat resistant type of clay, which would keep the interior nice and cool. The structures would allow for cool air to come in from the entries at the base and warm air would exit from the top of it. This was a rather advanced concept for ancient people during this time and it managed to be effective year long. Things such as eggs, clay, lime, goat hair, and ash were used to construct the material it was made from which made it weather resistant as well. The Persians also got to enjoy a dessert named Faluda thanks to this advanced heat resistant structure. Number 7. The Ancient City of Persepolis The city of Persepolis was the ancient capital of Persia and was founded by powerful kings such as Darius and Xerxes in the 6th century BC. This historic city was looted by Alexander the Great after his military campaigns. Some believe as an act of vengeance against the Persians, he burnt down the city since Xerxes had sacked much of Greece. This was originally discovered in the 1930s and excavations appeared to be concluded until they came across this massive ancient gate that they found in this legendary city. It's believed that it wasn't just any ordinary gate either. It was an unbelievable feat of architecture and display of wealth, kind of like what we see in this photo. It was the gate to Xerxes' palace and displays irreplaceable artwork. This was later dubbed the Gate of All Nations since it displayed his name in various languages that he was ruler of. Number 6. Multiple Capitals The ancient Persians are known for not just having one capital city, but multiple. During the Achaemenid era, there were five known capitals, which include Babylon, Pasigade, Ekbatana, Susa, and Persepolis. It was divided into many administrative regions called satrapies. Establishing capitals in newly conquered regions such as Mesopotamia would ensure their dominance over their people. 
Government officials who lived here were appointed by the king himself and would only take orders from the king. These people were basically governors. Number 5. Persian Immortals The Persian Immortals essentially defeated the Spartans during the infamous Battle of Thermopylae. Despite the Spartans only having a small force of soldiers, the Persian Immortals were simply devastated in many battles. They were almost like the poor man Spartan soldier, but the Immortals of the Archimedes Empire gained their strength in numbers. Hero Dotas coined the term for this unit because at any time a soldier was wounded or sick, they were immediately replaced with a new soldier. They were equipped with a large variety of weapons including short spears, slings, bows and arrows, swords, daggers, and were protected with bronze scale armor. Number 4. The Magi People We mentioned before the ancient religion of Zoroastrianism, but we didn't get to the strange things that the priests were said to have done in ancient times. Magi is a name given to an ancient Persian priest of this religion, and they were considered to be extremely wise and could perform miracles and even predict the future. They were also scribes and would keep records of many things that happened in ancient times. In fact, some even believe that the three wise men we hear about in the Bible were actually Zoroaster priests living in Israel. Having the glorious power of their god and earning lots of wealth, the Magi began to try to find a way to overthrow the government. One Magi was able to convince the people that he was actually the son of Cyprus the Great and got himself the crown. The people loved him for a while until they found out that he was actually a fraud. Not long after that, many Magi were actually massacred and it turned into a holiday each year to do the same thing. It became a holiday known as the Slaughter of the Magi and on that day, any priest found outside would be brutalized. In any case, the word magic actually comes from the name for these priests in ancient times. Number 3. Ancient Chemical Warfare During the siege of the Roman city known as Dura Europis, it's possible that the first case of chemical warfare took place against the Romans, and it was a success. The Persians dug tunnels under the city, and a battle took place underground. Once the Romans had met with the Persians in their tunnels, the Persians fled and then sent a fatal mixture of sulfur and pitch, which produced a sulfur dioxide. The Romans in the tunnels would have experienced similar effects as mustard gas. Inhaling high amounts will cause the lungs to swell to a point where breathing is impossible. This took place during 256 AD, well before any known use of chemical warfare. The Greeks, however, were known to burn chicken feathers to cause some problems, but nothing like this. The Persians were able to take the city, and archaeologists described it as a brutal way for the Romans to perish. Number 2. Elephant Units What are some of the best ways to win battles against your enemy? Surprise and instill fear in them. The Carthaginian general Hannibal had elephant units during the Punic Wars and was able to accomplish both of those goals. He also managed to participate in the sacking of Rome too. However, the Carthaginians weren't the first people to successfully tame elephants and use them in warfare. These were basically like the super tanks of ancient times. The Persian military also noticed the advantage of using war elephants about a century before the sack of Rome by Hannibal. The first major battle where war elephants were employed by the Persians was against Alexander the Great during the Battle of Guagamala. Not everything went according to plan, however, and Alexander proved to be victorious. The bright young conqueror then decided to use war elephants in his own campaign against India. Elephants would also be used in modern times, and this photo we see here shows an American corporal aim down a Colt M11895 machine gun atop a Sri Lankan elephant. And number 1. But first, let us know in the comments section if there are any subjects you'd like to see presented, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 1. Outlandish Clothing The ancient Persians were well known throughout the ancient world to be a little bit outlandish when it came to fashion. Ancient Greeks would often ridicule the Persians for wearing pajama-like clothing quite often. Noble Persian men would also wear things such as eyeliner and would curl their hair and even lather on some scented oils. Much like the Romans, purple was a sign of royalty due to the high price of the dye. The Persian King Cyrus also adopted a purple tunic used as a royal uniform. The production of purple dye consisted of the mucus from sea snails, which for some reason was extremely sought after. As the empire began to get more and more wealthy, a higher demand in luxurious materials would take place. In case you saw Xerxes in the movie 300 and thought it was somehow realistic, it couldn't be any further from the truth. It's most likely he had some form of beard, wore a crown, a silk robe, had plenty of gold jewelry, and probably had his ears pierced. Hey guys, if you haven't noticed already, we're almost at a million subscribers, so remember to smash that subscribe button.